Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the congruence bias, which is basically when you have an idea and you focus exclusively on testing that idea to garner support for it rather than testing alternative ideas. Um, and this is, I'm sure, a bias that many of you have encountered, uh, especially if you're in the health field, because you see people who seem to like build their whole career around this one concept. And generally that comes about because something caught their interest and then they just pile on research and research and research on this one idea. And they get so hyper-focused on this one idea that they can't appreciate alternative ideas. Yeah, uh, I was, when we were reading about this, I was reading that it starts with an anchoring bias too. Yeah. And so you anchor to one idea and mm -hmm. then that spirals the congruence bias. Yeah. I think that you, it's a, a great example of this would be a lot of low carbohydrate diet researchers, right? So they see this idea, they're like, oh my God, when they stop eating carbs, you know, their blood glucose goes down. Yeah. So now let's just keep testing how low carbohydrate diets impact like diabetes. And it's like, well, you keep testing low carb diets, but what about alternatives? Like what about just a low calorie diet that isn't restricted in carbohydrates? Like that never gets tested. We know that when people eliminate entire food groups like carbs, they tend to eat less, right? So you have this confounding variable in all of your experiments, which is calorie restriction. So why don't you test like, why don't you test this alternative idea of calorie restriction in your studies? Make like groups that eat low and high carb diets at either weight maintenance or weight loss levels and look at how it impacts, you know, diabetes remission rates or something like that. Like test alternative hypotheses. Yeah, but that's the definition of congruence bias is testing the same hypothesis exactly. in different ways. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I mean, it's just because they get so hyper-focused on their idea. They anchor to it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the way to combat this is just testing different hypotheses. Like it's yeah, it's it's almost like trying to build a, a steel man argument for yourself, which is the strongest possible argument you could have. Um, it's like if your idea truly has merit, then it should like rise above these alternative ideas. And they don't, and these alternative ideas don't need to be mutually exclusive with yours either right? It Maybe your new idea will become even stronger because you're able to actually absorb one of these alternative ideas and realize where the dots connect and be like, yeah, here's my idea. With the acknowledgement of this one, your idea just becomes even stronger, right? Yeah, it's, like, a, it's the same thing as like uh, not ensuring that you don't secure an echo chamber online too. Yeah. Like that will feed into a congruence bias. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, another one might be masks, right? You could be so pro mask uh, that, but that makes you stop appreciating the nuance, such as like, like the guy riding his bike with the mask on. Yeah, like when he get, when no one's around. Even even if masks work, there's there's context right, <laughs> right? involved where a mask isn't going to be useful. Um, and if you get so hyper focused on like yes, masks, masks, masks as the message, you're not going to be able to incorporate this nuance and develop Makes really intelligent people really dumb. Yeah, because what could be a really, really rational position that appreciates context is now just a dogmatic do this. Yep. Um, so yeah, I that's the congruence bias and you know, just keep an open mind and and try to appreciate it. It's very similar viewpoints. to the confirmation bias. Yeah, it's a form of confirmation yeah. bias, I would say. Yeah. So all right. Well, Hopefully you enjoyed this content, and if you did, please like the video, share it with someone who you think would be interested in the congruence bias, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. All Thanks, right. everyone.